everybody welcome back to another video it's your girl missy and my husband akeem here and today we are actually headed into the new reimagined target um our channel is mostly about home decor shopping vlogs and lifestyle content so if you guys are interested in that please consider subscribing you can pause the video right now subscribe so you don't miss another video and if you guys are returning welcome back family i can't wait to take you guys along with us um so I don't know if you guys been following me on social media, uh, but I have been posting nonstop about the new Target that just came to Katy. Um, this Target is just outside of our community. Um, this is one of the first of its kind, so it's pretty exciting the for first. us. Yes, the first the of first its one. kind. Um, so it's pretty exciting to have it out here in our um, vicinity of, you know, proximity of reach. Um, some fun things about this one, I guess Akeem can tell you a little bit more than I can. Um, and then on top of that, we'll also have a link down below just so you guys can read the article and see what's new coming to, or what's coming new to all of the future targets. So yeah, it's um, a couple things just to, to highlight. What's new about this one in particular is the larger format. So I guess the average target store is about 120, 115,000 square feet. And this one is about 150,000 square feet. So a larger footprint. Um, I'm under the assumption that's because because inside doesn't look that much bigger But I'm assuming they have a larger space for warehousing online orders and things like that and probably the Behind the scenes on how they pull orders place orders and bring the orders out or prepare to ship is probably a lot more efficient So that's where I'm assuming a lot of the uh, square space comes from and it's not like a completely different design It looks like Target still but they learned a lot from how people shopped um, during the pandemic and what expectations were and what buyers were coming to Target for. So they try to have more of those things in stock. Um, the, uh, what'd you call that thing? The, the, like where you pull up to pick up. The driver? Yeah, the online pickup place um, is covered. So it's a huge long, and I'll put the video in here. It's this huge long covered um, space where you can pull up and pick up your online orders. And then the overall design, there's just little tweaks. Again, like Missy said, we'll put a link down below directly from Target. So they explained it. But one of the things I thought that was pretty cool is they designed this new store completely in virtual reality. So they walked around and built the set um, life size. And then as they were, you know, navigate through, they were able to make changes real time in the virtual reality space and then send that to architects and engineers to change and modify. So as we go through and take you on this tour, we'll try to point out some of the things that is different. Um, I know one of the things is they try to locally design the spaces around the environment that it's in. So you'll see a lot of um, reclaimed wood from the area. You'll see a lot of moss and things like that to, you know, make it seem like it's a part of the community it's not just an eyesore so a lot of glass a lot of glass facades a lot of natural light and things like that so it's exciting it's exciting to have something like this close to you where you don't have to drive that far we're a good two minute drive from it Hang on, so the damn battery died in the middle of me talking so um that must mean they want me to shut up talking and take y'all on the inside and then if you stay tuned to the end of the video missy's been in this place at least Every day since they opened, this is like the fifth day. Don't judge me. So, uh, and we're going to show you a haul of what, you know, Missy picked up. So, so stay tuned for the haul um, and we'll see you guys inside. Okay, so some of the first things that you notice when you come inside the Target is going to be the big windows. Um, that's going to let in a lot of natural light. The second thing is going to be the Starbucks. Um, this is probably one of the bigger Starbucks that I have seen inside of a Target. What I like about this one is because I came in the other day. And I actually sat in the back corner, got my coffee and a cheese danish. And they have outlets, um, much like a standalone Target, where you can go in and you can do some work, plug in to recharge and different things like that. So I think that's great even for a small um, walk-up Target, I mean walk-up Starbucks and start a Target. So at the soft opening, the bullseye area was fully stocked. Actually, all the Target was fully stocked. It was something I had never seen before. Um, since then... They got the jars. Those are cute, you wanna get them? Can you get a cart real quick? So since then, all right, I've been looking for these jars, so let me grab these real quick. Then I have to update my group. They're here. So one thing that I actually love about this Target is how spacious it is. So you can definitely tell that they took advantage of the square footage that they added to it. 
I feel like nothing is on top of each other, nothing is crowded. Um, the, the redesign, again, is, in my opinion, amazing. So in this particular area, um, I'm not sure how many other targets have this, but I do like the fact that they separated the kids' books from the adult books. So this is a kid reading area, and I just like how it is designed for them to have their own little area. So you have the reading area here, you have the Disney sitting, and I think it's like a little animated TV, and then you have the toy section right there. So this whole little section over here is for the littles. So as you guys can see, this big open area leading up to the fitting room is such a great design. So it has extra seating in there, it has plenty of lights. So the new design of the fitting rooms, in my opinion, is great. It looks awesome. It has extra seating all the way across. It has a, a stand tall mirror as you can see your full body in. It has a round mirror and it has the great lighting. So I think what I like most about the redesign is the fact that now the holiday and seasonal decor is in the back of the store still, but it's in the middle. So most stores, we've had to go either far left or far right. But once you come into the yeah. store and you make your way down the middle aisles, it's right there, right in front of your face. So for me, that's convenient. that I'm noticing I could be wrong it could just be me my mind playing tricks on me but I feel like there's times when I've come in here and the store has been kind of dim kind of moody relaxing and then there's times when I've come in here where it's been pretty busy so it's very bright um, I'm not sure if other people have felt that way but that is something that I feel like I've noticed I like it I like when I come in here early before rush hour and I'm just kind of just going through the motions getting my stuff done getting my things that I need and then if I come in here a little later a little bit more upbeat it's a little bit more crowded then it's a little bit brighter so I, I think I think I noticed that but I could be wrong 
So as you can see, the more windows behind me lets in more light so they're not having to use as much electricity. So I think that's kind of what I meant because then if you look up, not all the lights are on. And they will be bringing solar panels and more charging ports to uh, this particular target. So I think that also helps with like the energy saving and everything. much larger especially the ones at the end caps so definitely appreciate that um you can get more than one cart through here so you're not necessarily running and bumping into people the other one's down there yeah no this is the stainless steel one mm -hmm. pretty good i like the gold one better though go on it So yeah, I like that one. A little brass gold. Mm -hmm. Shaker. Gold stand too. To elevate it. Then they also have like the ice bucket. And then the bottle yeah, holder. This is this is small, bro. <laughs> well, you got the 52 other ones. Yeah, because I'm once you fill this with ice, uh -huh. and then you put your liquor, it's not enough room for it to get that. Good shake. Yeah, and have that liquor move around the ice to chill it and dilute it. So it would just be for show? A little bit. I mean, if you was making a little one hit or quitter, just something for you, it'll work. But if you're doing like how we do, you need something a little bigger. Yeah. So like I mentioned, as you can see, the aisles are just a lot bigger, a lot more roomier. So you're not necessarily on top of each other with your... Um, carts, so great.
Okay, so they have some of these areas empty. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, and then I did see some aisles that were blocked off. But a couple days ago, all these areas were full. So maybe they had some type of electrical issue. However, um, this Target does have the produce and grocery area. But the produce area really isn't much. Let's see. So like... Oh, how are you? So, um, so someone just said they follow us on YouTube. It's hilarious. Um, I need to get your information, ma'am. But uh, I'm assuming that they had some yeah, type of issue working. over here. She's trying to get the plug. Um, I was gonna put her business out there. But um, I'm assuming they have uh, some type of technical issue over here because, like I just mentioned. Um, most of the aisles are blocked off and they're clearing out the freezers but the small area that you see is the produce area is not a lot a lot of people have said that they wish that there was more um but i feel like because it's just open it's going to be a little bit just to see how people take to it and maybe they'll add to it fingers crossed because they definitely have the space for it this area is going to be for the return order pickup exchanges so as you can see, it's very spacious, very wide. So like I said, they look like they have plenty of storage in the back. So I can't see it being like the other ones where you pull up and it's just a bunch of boxes and um, carts and everything out here. But if it does, it has plenty of space in that area. Plus it's nice and sleek. Again, with the windows, huge windows everywhere. Tons of natural light. As I mentioned before, it's not a lot of lights on anyway, so it's very dim, but at the same time very bright in here. That's how I like the shop. So the beauty area is like way bigger than I've seen in other Targets. So for me, that's a plus. And they also have Ulta in here. I don't normally shop at Ulta as much as I used to because it's just a drive for me. So I'm a Sephora girl. But now that Ulta is closer, I'll probably be shopping here a lot more. What I don't know is if I can get my Ulta points. I'm going to assume I can as long as I check out over here. But I'm not exactly sure. So y'all could tell me if y'all have shopped at Ulta inside Target if you get your points. The men's section, it's a nice size section. And then they have an optical place for glasses and then they also have a CVS inside. Also, so this one does have more, I know we haven't made it to that point yet, but this one does have more checkout lanes, self checkout lanes as well as cashier lanes. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to show it in this video, depending on how we check out, but they have conveyor belts at the checkout. So no more having to stack everything up in such a small space or bag it, put it in your cart, bag and put it in your cart. You can just bag everything right there at the checkout. It'll move, you know, as soon as it feels, um, it filling up and just creates more space. It's just more convenient. Thank you. <laughs> so where did Keem go? So, I don't know what happened to Akeem. He disappeared on me. But I like this Target already. Hey, y'all. Hey. I found one of our followers who work here. Hey, girl. Hey. Um, I'm going to have to tell you about the, the group. Uh, the Target group so you can come in. And then some girl just called some little kids. Some young ladies just called me uh, pretty. So, <laughs> they see it. They see it. All right. Here's this man. What about me? Uh, nothing, I was just telling them about how you disappeared on me. So more of the women's section, the kids section are going to be through and on the other side. Again, I like it because it is just plenty of room to walk your carts through. I don't know about y'all, but I've been to plenty of targets where I'm just running into 
all types of stuff with my cart because I can barely see over it. So I just appreciate the more room and space that they put into this one. I'm not gonna go in here, but restrooms, the long walk of shame. <laughs> what? I said that's creepy. <laughs> I said I'm not going in. <laughs> So the indicators at the checkout lane lets you know which ones are available by the green light. Let you know as soon as they checked out. The conveyor belts I was telling you about. Alright y'all, so if you made it this far, then you guys have checked out the tour. And now I want to go ahead and show you all the many, 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 many things I picked up this past week from Target being open. Um, I promise y'all it's the same day I had to change my shirt because I had on a turtleneck and I got makeup on it. But it's absolutely the same day. So, um, Sidebar, I'm behind the camera, right? So she put no. out all this stuff. I'm like, you, I'm like, this all the stuff you got in the last couple of days? I didn't know she got all this stuff. I still got a couple things in the living room I need to bring in here, but I'll show that later. So, let's start with packaging. So you, you slid past that real quick. I We got a new tree this year. Akeem wanted a new tree, so we got a new tree this year. We wanted so, a new tree. So, with that, um, I wanted to add like just some colorful packaging under the tree. So, I got these large round boxes. Um, I'm probably just going to put these under the tree and add like a couple things under them like I mean inside them like maybe some snacks for the kids or some slippers or something like that. And then I got two sets of these t-shirt boxes. Uh, small, medium, and large. Uh, I'm thinking about going to go back and get at least two more and maybe this is what I put their pajamas in. And then I just got the matching wrapping paper, the sugar paper. Um, Why is it called sugar paper? That's the name of the company. Oh. Yeah, they make like the um, like the calendars and stuff that we get, like the planners. Mm -hmm. And then I just pick these up so they can go on the gift boxes once I wrap them. Some tissue paper, um, some small gift bags, and then I think these are the large ones or medium. So I just got those for packaging. And then um, I picked up these bottle brushes as well. Um, I made a... DIY cake stand village that I will pop in either the picture or the video um, But I made a, a tutorial on my IG so make sure y'all go check that out. We should put it on shorts too So check it out on shorts Yeah, yeah I'll put it on the shorts. Yeah, put it on the shorts. Okay, so I picked up they had like some of the winter Or was it summer? It might be some of the summer gear. I'm not sure, but you guys know that Target does a collab with different um, stylists. So I picked up the Future Collective, a few pieces from the Future Collective. Um, is it Future Collection or Collective? I didn't even see the clothes. Okay, Future Collective by Kalana Barfield. And if you guys are not familiar with her, she is a celebrity stylist. I absolutely adore her. Like, I mean, I adore her. And one of my favorite, favorite pictures of her is when she styles Savannah James. And this lime green dress with this, oh, she's everything. So um, when they when she first dropped, I couldn't find any of the pieces and any of the other Target, but this particular Target had them. So I grabbed this top. Um, it was like 50% off. So Akeem found this sugar cookie granola. We like to eat a lot of parfaits. The kids love them too. So he found this uh, limited edition of cookie, sugar cookie granola that we're going to use for our parfaits. And we might find something else to do with this. I'm excited to try these though. From the dollar spot or the bullseye, I found this. Nothing over there is a dollar, is it? Not new. Well, no, they do still have some things, but I don't think I have. You know what? I don't think I purchased anything. Purchased anything from them for a dollar. That's why they changed the name of it. In a while. It's been the one spot now. They good. have some, but it's mostly three and five dollars. Um, it's very very rare that you find something for a dollar actually. But um. So I got this hot cocoa uh, round tray. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this. I actually saw this one. So I also picked up these. I wasn't sure of the three which ones I wanted to keep because I already have a lot of stuff that says hot cocoa or hot cocoa bar, but we'll see. But this, um, I'm thinking about putting like packets or maybe utensils in. And this one I actually picked up these jars that I had been on a hunt to find 
and I didn't find them until today. But these are the wooden jars with the red top and the, or the clear jars with the red top and the wooden spoons. And I'm thinking about putting them in here like this. And you know, we'll see. So like I said, I got these three jars and I got this wide jar that I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it just yet, but we'll see. I found these mugs at the bullseye. I thought this was super cute. Hot cocoa for 50 cents. And then I like this one because we are doing the red and white theme for Christmas. And then how cute is the snowman? So I am not a huge Santa Claus person in my house. I don't discourage Santa Claus or, you know, anything like that for the kids. But I just prefer when they get a little bit older, um, just to be able to still have winter theme decorations and not so much santa but that's just me i still like the black santas i still like santa claus and different things like that but when i say like snowmen and snowflakes and stuff like that i'm all over it akeem picked this out from the one spot today why. i think it's a cute little decoration so we'll find something to do I have with no it. Use for it i figured you would want it maybe at the bar cart or the hot cocoa bar not just your shirt i got big plans um, I picked these up, nothing Christmas, but these are supposed to be um, hypoallergenic uh, bath time um, bath bombs. And Zuri has very sensitive skin, so I'm trying to find bath bombs that work with her skin. Um, if I can't find any, then she just can't use it, and I'm okay with that. But she loves little bath time and spa baths and stuff like that. I picked up two popcorns, but the kids ate the other one because I didn't really like it. I meant to pick up the milk chocolate drizzle, but I ended up getting the peppermint bark instead. But this dark chocolate sea salt, I'm anxious to try. I may even put this in one of these jars so it can just be scooped out a little bit when we make hot cocoa. And then I just got like a bunch of these. So I got the star-shaped marshmallows and then a marshmallow on the stick, as well as a bunch of these. So the mug huggers <laughs> the mug the, so the house mug hugger what was that funny? i don't know why it was funny to me um the, oh uh, my mug okay, yeah and you. then the <laughs> <Child>. <laughs> and then the snowflake um and then the snowman so that was pretty much all that i got some of the stuff is from um walmart um oh, i got some more of these chocolate sticks um, the kids didn't really eat them last year, so I mean, if I'm being honest, I'll probably just be for show. I got a C. Is this three? I got a C for our last name. Um, I'm probably, I don't know which tree I'm going to put this on, but anytime I see our initials, I grab them. Okay, and lastly, I got some of these miniature, um, what do you call these things? Lifts, ski lifts. Mm -hmm. So I got a few of these miniature ski lifts. Um, I don't know if I need them for my tree this year, but I saw them on sale, so I, well, I, I saw them for sale. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed them, but we'll see once I pull out the other tree. But that was my um, theme last year was like this ski cabin lodge. And I think I'm going to do the same thing this year, but just put it in the dining room. I also picked up this doormat because I realized I don't have a Christmas doormat. Uh, however, this one I think might be the smaller one. And I think I need a larger one. And I think that one was only online through Target. But then I also saw one at Joann's that's even bigger. And I might go that route. So we'll see. Because, you know, we got we have the double doors. So we need, um, you know, bigger mats, not your average size mats. But I thought this was cute. It was simple. And guess who just lost the tooth? You want to show me a missing tooth? Oh, snack a tooth in the house. <laughs> you got to tell all the subscribers to send you a dollar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And so, oh, and then I also picked up these. So I got the red bulbs. These were the glitter ones. The silver ones weren't sold in a pack, so I only got four of those. But these were sold in a pack for 15 so I got the red ones. Thanks, babe. And then the gold ones. So um, in addition to the red and white tree, I kind of wanted to pop in, like, either a gold or a silver. I haven't decided which way I'm going to go yet. Just to kind of break up, like, that super harsh red and super harsh white. Did you, the, show, um, did you show them the snow? No, not yet. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, because we have gold and other colors throughout the house as far as decor. You can show them the snow real quick. But is I didn't get that from Target. Snow? But you can find it at Target. And what are you going to do with the snow? Be careful because um, it's a hole in the back. 
Or did I get this from Target? I don't know. I don't know what that... Because that could be a Target $2. That could be a Dollar Tree $2. It's fake snow. Like, it's... Either way, I got the fake snow for yeah, when I made the village. Yeah, and we... Uh, and she did make the village. Yes. Uh, and it's over there. So I, I'll let you show them the village. Okay, so that is all for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Target tour. Y'all know I am going to continue to be in there. I absolutely love it. It's like my home away from home. Um, if you guys like the, the haul that I did, let me know. Make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> Make sure you stay tuned for any of the home decorating. We will be doing Vlogmas. So make sure you stay ready for that. But with... Is that it? Okay. Oh, Lord, hurry up and let your tooth come back in. <laughs> We're going to do the peace side. All right, so thanks again for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time.